Hi, Rob here from Rob's Creations. Just showing you the finished hide. You can see what it looks like after all the hair has been off of it. Uh, this one was a little tougher than I thought, and I've got some things here that I forgot to tell you when I started because I was wrestling with this hide, which looks like it's going to give me some troubles already. Um, let me just hang that there. And this first off is a wet scraping method. There is a dry scraping method also. Uh, it took me about an hour and a half and I got uh, most of the grain off. The neck was still a little tough so I'm going to do that now. It took a couple hours to relax. It was real bad. Uh, what I used was a planing blade from a commercial uh, sawmill. And um, when you do that, the best direction to go is with the hair down is a lot easier to grain than going against it. Um, the other thing is you don't want to rub all the hair off and then go back and start graining. You'll lose place. It'll be hard to see the grain, especially if you don't do it right uh, the first time and you're not going to be able to see your grain. So do it with the hair. Take off a patch of hair. Take off the grain underneath it. Um, I did get a couple holes in here. Uh, one right here. They're up towards the neck, but they were from knife marks and you can see sort of see the knife mark from when they were skinning the deer um, sometimes you get a tick mark too PVC is not as forgiving as my wood beam so I, I'm still out on that if the PVC is better or not uh, I wanted to tell you that the uh, the hide is really tough I mean you can't you could go like that all day and you're not going to hurt the hide, so you can really put some pressure into it. You just need to watch where your knife marks are, and sometimes they have tick marks. Uh, I did go and finish my uh, brazier with my friend Scott uh, at the auto shop, and we were going to weld it, but a couple pieces were aluminum. I don't know if the aluminum is going to melt or not, but I've had this fire going in here for about a half hour. Seems pretty good. I got my friend Josh over here. He's keeping me company right now. <laughs> and we're just burning this brazier out as you can see all that was was four pieces of angle iron I cut them uh, 13 and a half inches tall the bottom is an 8 by 8 square sheet of steel and then two of the sides are steel I did those 9 by 8 and the other two are aluminum unfortunately but we'll see what happens so instead of uh, welding everything in you can't weld aluminum to steel as I found out today so we bolted everything together as you can see and then if I have to take pieces out and put them in we'll do that I use this off an old grill the side of an old grill and that'll allow you to cook on I did keep the angle iron one inch higher than the sides and I figure if I got a big pot you can then cook on that uh, it's been burning like I said for a half hour it throws a lot of heat. I saw one of these at a rendezvous and I thought to myself, well, I'll make one. I got the stuff laying around the house. So I'll keep you uh, informed on whether or not this holds up. I, right now it looks like the aluminum is holding. I don't know. It might warp a little bit. But that's it for today. I'm just going to finish up there. Uh, the second part to this will be to neutralize a hide. You could do that in a running stream overnight. Uh, you just throw it in there, weight it down with some rocks, and let the water wash the uh, lye out of the hide um, from the wood ash. Uh, what I do is I use three gallons of warm water and one, uh, two cups, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. two cups of vinegar. White vinegar works fine in the water. I throw the hide in there, and that brings the pH level back to neutral. If you still think that the hide is swollen, then you need to add a little bit more vinegar, change the water, and give it another day. Don't add too much vinegar because then you'll pull it the other way. You want the pH to be at 7. Um, I'll do that tonight, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like tomorrow morning. And this is Rob Abo 2 from Rob's Primitive Traditional Creations. And thanks for watching.